We're actually at Delipri Abbey in Northampton. The building used to be the old records office for the Northampton Council. And what we're doing now, we're doing conservation work and alterations and bringing it back into life, basically, for a visitor centre and an attraction for the local community. The project's progressed very well at the moment. The new build section, which is the only new bit we've got, is a kitchen link for the caterers, which is a brand new kitchen, and a conservatory. And that's going to be used for wedding functions and general cafeteria area. That's the new, new part of it. But it's a steel frame building, completely surrounded by stone and, and brickwork and the actual stonework is designed to blend in with the existing abbey itself in its appearance. We're interacting very, very closely with the local community. I mean, this last weekend, the 14th and 15th of May, we had an open weekend, had 700 people through showing them around the abbey. We have guided tours of the work that's in progress and what we've done, all the conservation work, which no, a lot of people in natural Northampton have never seen inside this abbey. The Trust is the organisation that's working with the Borough Council and with Robert Woodhead Limited uh, on the restoration and will be the group that actually leases the Abbey and runs it for the benefit of the public once the restoration has been completed. My role as Community Engagement Officer is really based around bringing the community into Delapre Abbey and getting them involved with the place. I couldn't have done that without the help of Robert Woodhead Limited and the site manager Richard who has been so helpful every time we've wanted to bring people in. Either we've had school children filming on site, we've had open weekends where we've had 600 people come through and actually do tours on here. We have lots of individuals come from different groups and organisations that we're hoping to work with in the future and every time Woodheads go out of their way to make it possible for us to come on site. The work inside that started on the South Range rooms where they're restoring all the decorative schemes to how it would have been in the Victorian period, the transformation in there is just amazing. From dirty council painted rooms to high Victorian splendour, uh, it's just a miracle actually. When I first came here, the interiors were very tired, damaged and discoloured. Uh, fortunately, three of the ceilings could be seen, although there was failure and the walls were totally overpainted with white gloss paint to most areas. We're at a very exciting stage now where we're starting to see how these interiors originally looked in the 19th century. First of all we needed to establish how these rooms originally looked in the 19th century. It all started with architectural paint research. We knew what the ceilings looked like just about, imagining the dirt removed and doing the paint research, trying to finalise what colours we were going to use to look at the colours, adjust the colours, make them sit completely happily with the existing colour you can see in the room was slow, tedious, painstaking work. I was hugely excited at the prospect of being involved with the conservation of these interiors. Yes, they looked terrible when I first looked at them, but I knew it was going to be very exciting. I knew there would be a massive transformation. Working on the Abbey gives me a great sense of satisfaction and pride in what we're doing. We pride ourselves in the conservation work and the quality of the conservation work. It's an art into itself, it's not like new build. You've got to have a passion for the work else you wouldn't be doing it. And when you go home at night you feel satisfied that you've achieved something that people are going to get benefit for years and years to come. 